So here we have the standard 1x1 loot room with 4 large and 4 small boxes, basically 28 rows of storage. Now on this side we have the kind of metal loot room to build. There is no difference storage wise, the only change is that there is metal ramps on each shelf underneath the boxes. Now for the longest time I thought that this was just to make them look cool cause why not. But this turned out not to be the case. After speaking with a fella named Nosy, a very experienced raider and whose Twitch and YouTube channel I will link down below, explained to me its real strength, which is absolutely genius. Let's consider a raid here on this base, at least the loot room. If we go through the back walls on a regular loot room, we can break the large box, access the small one, and even go further in. Now this has kind of always been the case, and since making a raider take more time to finish will always decrease their chance of success, people would even lock boxes so raiders would have to break each one. Now let's apply this same logic to the other loot room. We can break the box the same, but there is no way to reach any further in. The ramp actually halts your process, and we're talking about metal here, so there's no easy way to get past it. Basically, put your rockets in the small boxes up front. The best way to pass this would be to splash the ramp sequentially while going through the doors, basically doing damage to it each time you go further into the base. Now this should probably be added into any base using square loot rooms, but I do feel like it benefits smaller bases in a bigger way. As for additional costs and then the upkeep, each ramp costs 25 wood to build and 100 metal to upgrade. The upkeep goes up for 20 for each loot room that uses 2 ramps, so I'm guessing 10 metal each. One more thing to keep in mind is that this does add to the total number of pieces on your base, which can affect TC upkeep in the long run. Now one thing I noticed while messing around is that the ramp in stone form has kind of a messy middle, as you can see here. You can still place the boxes just the same, but when you use metal instead, it's much much cleaner. Another thing is if you already have the 1x1 loot room with the shelf and door, you can still add in the ramps at any time. This is good because there is less commitment required material wise in the start of a wipe where you plan to use this. Now there are a couple of different variations that I find have different strengths and weaknesses over here. This first one is the basic loot room just ported over. This one has an additional 3 small boxes and is aimed towards having the most rows of storage in the loot room. You can't add barbecues to any of these as far as I could tell, but I still really like this. This next one is the same as the standard one, but with two traps to add some defense to the door raid. Keep in mind, if you do lose TC, this makes things much harder for you. This final one is kind of the middle point and a combo of the previous two. The bottom section maintains the most storage, but we sacrifice one small box on top for some frontal defense. This is probably my favorite one, but this is going to be 100% preference and dependent upon your team's playstyle. So I felt enlightened after learning the real use for this, so I really hope you do too. Now let me know if you have anything that can be added, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!